division of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. Concerning who? Edom. Concerning Edom. Read, jump down to verse 3. The blood of thine heart hath deceived thee. So Edom, the Caucasian race, has a lot of pride. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. What does that mean? That they call Caucasian. Where does the term Caucasian come from? The Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. That's why they call themselves Caucasian. Whose habitation is high. The Bible says Edom likes to live in skyscrapers. They like to live in tall buildings so they can look down upon you Negroes. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? How is Edom able to say that? Because they got the missile technology. They got the satellites. They got the earth in their hand. Who is this talking about Edom? The so-called white man starting with America. The United States of America is the most powerful nation on earth. Can the Arabs take them down? No. Can the Chinese take them down? No. That's why I go back to Romans 9 now. Wait, stay there, stay there, stay there. Read on him something else. <laughs> Though thou exhort thyself as the eagle. In case you don't believe that the white man is Edom, what is the symbol of America? The eagle. Take out a dollar bill. What is the symbol of America? The eagle. Read it again. Though thou exhort thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars. Who's traveling to the stars? Who's doing space travel for you disbelieving black men and Latino men? doing space travel. In 1969, who landed on the moon and said the eagle has landed? Who landed on the moon in 1969 and said the eagle has landed? If this was Jeopardy, you all lose. Read it again. Though thou exhort thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars. Now go ahead. Thence will I bring thee down. Thence will God. God is the one, so you understand, will bring America down. And America's going down according to the prophecy. Now go back to Romans 9. Even for this same purpose have I raised you up that part. Romans 9, verse 17. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. Why is it saying even for the same purpose? Because the same way God raised up ancient Egypt, he's raising Esau up upon the earth. And they would start with Rome right there. Come on. Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. That I might shew my power. That God might what? Shew my power in thee. That God might show his power. Because when, the, when God destroyed Egypt, his power was so, shown throughout all the earth. That there's one true God. So likewise, a lot of you confused about God. Oh, when America's destroyed, you're going to accept God at that time. If you're not destroyed and this nuclear war that's coming. You're going to humble down and acknowledge that there's one God and one God only. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Because when America is destroyed, the name of the Most High will be declared throughout all the earth, just like during the time of ancient Egypt. Let's continue the book of Obadiah. We want to go to verse, um, let's see. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord had spoken it. Okay, I want you to understand that. Okay, now, let's see who was the last empire before the kingdom is established. Verse 21 explains, And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. So you see that? The Savior is talking about is the 144,000, the elect, and the elect. They shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Because after Esau... The kingdom is the Lord's. Okay? 
So don't get confused in thinking that this last kingdom we live in is Japheth. It is not. It is Esau. That's what the Bible says. That's why in um, my page rip, 2 Ezra 6, verse uh, 9. Remember this? We went over this earlier. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? So it's letting you know the last kingdom ruling, the last Gentile kingdom ruling the world is Esau. And after it is Jacob. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? Jacob, remember Christ comes from Jacob. He's from Judah. Okay? From J one of Jacob's sons was Judah. Christ came from that lineage. Okay, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So don't be, ever be confused thinking that this last kingdom is Japheth. Please, brothers, please, sisters, do not be deceived. Romans chapter 12 and verse 17. Okay, I'm going here because I don't want there to be no misunderstandings, okay? No one is teaching anyone to hate anybody or go out, kill, destroy, especially you young black and Latino men. No one is saying that. Let's see what the Most High God says about it. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men let's look at that again live peaceably with all men dearly beloved avenge not yourselves but rather give place unto wrath for it is written vengeance is mine i will repay saith the lord so you young black and latino men black and latino women you are not to recompense or pay back any man for anything evil that has been done against us or our people. Okay? Let's continue on. First Peter's chapter 2 and we want verse 13 submit yourselves to every ordinance of man so who's the man over us Edom the so-called white man I'm gonna read it again submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake whether it, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evil doers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God, that with well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. So listen, brothers, listen, sisters, submit yourselves to the laws of this, of this land. Do not cause any rebellions. We are to obey all their laws as long as they do not contradict the commandments of the Most High God. For example, the Most High's law says, Thou shalt not kill, correct? Guess what man's, the ordinance of man says? The same thing. Okay, they have laws that say not to kill, not to murder. Same thing. So when it says submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, it means they are laws that abide in the most highest laws. Obey, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors, as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers. Because remember, we were made slaves here because we, are, we were evildoers. And many of us still are today. So let's get it right. Do not get this lesson twisted at all. Shalom.